Man, it is so good to see one of Kubo's works back in Weekly Shining Jump. Just weekly, man, just to read something from Kubo. Oh, man, it just gives me such, like, vibes from Bleach. But Burn the Witch Chapter 3, right? This world is just getting bigger and bigger in regards to the powers and the story, the characters. We get to see Bruno Bangknife again, which is obviously he's pretty cool. Uh, and we're getting a little bit of uh look into his ability so we see a dragon which is pretty cool now this begs the question does okay do do people have their own dragons now obviously from last chapter we saw uh dragons where they help society so we saw some transport dragons we saw dragons which like produce electricity i think um some within the household you know that like noel would be using etc uh, and then there's obviously dragons like Suchi-chan from um, Bargo. So, yeah, Balgo. So, with the dragon from Bruno, first of all, this dragon looks insane. Looks like a dragon that comes from How to Train Your Own Dragon or something like that. It just looks like when you think of a dragon, right, that's what you think of. So... Not only does, is the design really, really cool, but the way that like he summoned it. At first, I thought, okay, is this guy, I don't know, using some race? I don't know. Like at first, I thought some keto, or, you know, because obviously it's from the same universe of Bleach, right? So we're thinking, okay, maybe their weapons are like the guns or like the um, yeah, like, the 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 spells that they use as well. But no, it seems like they can have dragons as well. Now I don't know if this is just for the inks. I'm I'm assuming everyone has, but. Judging from, it doesn't seem like Noel or Nina has them. You know, they have the the ones where they can fly. Those dragons where they use those like broomsticks, basically, like the transport ones. But I don't think they have one like I think it was called Rickenback. Um, so you know, Kubo's going all out on this in the sense of the lore, the fantasy, the dragons, and all of the sorts, uh, which is really really cool. Uh, and I just want to see more of it. And obviously. Last week, next week is the last chapter, so it kind of begs the question. Okay, cool. What's gonna, what's going on? What's Kubo's plan? So I'm just bringing up the page. What's it? What does it call again? Rickenbacker, or Reichenbacker? I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah. So obviously, next week's the last chapter of the limited series that is Birth of the Witch. It's got the animes coming out next month, um, which is gonna be pretty cool. Now. I'm hoping, obviously it's a limited series, but like I'm hoping this can probably show like, okay, cool, like it has potential or stuff like that. And you know, it keeps going ongoing, but I'm not sure if Cooper wants to go back to the whole weekly stuff like that. Um, there was a lot of complaints, like he had a lot of complaints with the editors and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I don't know, but I feel like Cooper's rested for a while. What Bleach ended in, I feel like it's 2016. I'm trying to think. I have a 2016, it wasn't 2017, definitely wasn't. Uh, I think it was summer of 2016, that may be wrong, but yeah, so Bleach ended like, it's been at least four years. Um, so maybe Cooper, you know, wants to get back into that kind of stuff, who knows. And it's and the the, the um, amount of effort and passion that he's been putting into this series so far, three chapters in, and like, I've, I'm already attached, I'm already invested to Noel and uh, Nina, I'm attached to like, just... Just this world is so cool. Um, I'm really intrigued to see how this connects more to obviously Bleach. But that doesn't seem the focus. It doesn't seem that's Cooper's focus in the sense he's creating Burn the Witch. And each chapter he's like, okay, cool. So this is how connected to Soul Society and Soul Reapers and Holos. It doesn't seem that like Kubo's really, that's like his focus right now. And it seems more he's building up this world. And if it comes to it, it comes to it. Like in regards to developing how that link, um, how it's the Western branch of soul society like you know i guess time would come if we had a full-on um series of this but yeah i'm just really invested into the characters you know balgo i think in my opinion i'm the least invested to him we haven't really gotten too much into his character he seems like he's the one who is really there for the comic element um but who knows uh maybe there'll be more to go with him especially with um osichi chan as well maybe you know that that um link will develop as well just as how bruno has reichenbacker maybe like that will be his reichenbacker obviously reichenbacker is the name but hopefully you guys catch my drift um but yeah even just in the sense that we're really focused obviously the main protagonists of the series is noel and um nina 
Uh, they are awesome. I love it. Female cast as well, which is really cool to see. Um, but yeah, I like, you know, the, they are great chapters. Um, it's cool to talk about and discuss about it. But you know, the question always comes back to it is, is it's like, it's like we always talk about it. Everyone on YouTube talking about it. it's the fact that it is limited series. So it's really like, okay, cool. What's Cooper trying to do? If next week is the last week chapter, how's he gonna wrap up on it? But like, it was interesting because when you're reading on like Manga Plus or like Shonen Jump, it doesn't really say like next week is the last chapter. So you know, it's really intriguing. Uh, but you know, we'll find out next week on what's going on and how Cooper wants to wrap up the story. But yes, this chapter was basically seeing two people uh, that is Noel and Nina from, I've even forgotten where they're from, Piper's division, fighting against like the captain or like the leader of the Inks Corp. Now, we didn't really know what these each corps do. We know like Sabres are basically the equivalent of like Soul Reapers, kind of. Um, we, yeah, it's still a bit like we're still a bit blurry on all of the intel on what each corp, each what each division does. But you know, we'll find out in time, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so two people from Piper's basically fighting off against the captain to to protect Balgo. Now, Bruno Bang Knife is sick. Now, you see his strength in this chapter clearly portrayed and displayed in this chapter. Whether it is the like the craters and the cracks on the building that he's stepping on or how fast he is, or how he's not really um, scared or really sh worried about the attacks that, he's, that Noel and Nina are giving out to him, basically. And then obviously you see Rick and Becca come out, um, and he just looks like a, a beast, like a, a, a dragon of pure strength. So obviously, you know, like he's, here to, he's not here to play, which is kind of cool. And we know that they, they can communicate with their dragons and stuff. So the relationship between... The humans, well, you know, the people and their dragons is really intriguing. Um, and I'd like to, you know, develop more, um, like to see a bit more development on that just to find out more about that and how, you know, how that starts. For example, how do they get their dragons? Is it the sense of how the Soul Reapers get, uh, Sampakto? Sampakto? Or, okay, yeah, or something similar to that. Is it like they go to an academy, they train, and then they train their own dragon or like they best it or, you know, they kind of master it. You know, I'm really intrigued for that. But I want to talk about Ellie, right? And Ellie, you know, when she came out from last chapter, when she got introduced, we were thinking, okay, she's just like, well, what's her importance in that? And when we find out her importance actually from this chapter, she's a watcher. Now, a watcher are people from the front side of London who are just normal humans seem to have no magic affinity or whatever of the sort but they are able to see um dragons it's similar to in in bleach um people like um each girl's sister who could see hollows like there are some people who have a certain level of reatsu certain level of spiritual pressure um where they are able to see these sort of things um some people can't for example so ellie in this when she first found the dragon no one saw it, it was just her it's similar with Back in Bleach where, you know, someone's fighting a hollow. I, you, like Chad, basically. Chad at the start, right? He couldn't really see it. He could feel it, but he couldn't see hollows. So, you know, there are different levels to people seeing it. And then there was just other people who just like... I feel like Kago couldn't see hollows. Or maybe he could. I, I can't even remember. It's been so long ago. Um, but yeah, we know that there are certain characters in the series who can't see that kind of stuff. For example, in the last arc, Ichigo's boss, right? Um, Ichigo's boss couldn't see... Um, what's his name? Uh, Ishin in like in his in his soul form in his spiritual form. So we know that there are levels to this. Uh, um, and Ellie is a watcher, so the watchers who can see it. And it seems the way that Bruno was talking about it, it seems like if you have a watcher, if you're a watcher of your, if you have a certain magic affinity, you you know either get drafted into reverse london now we don't know if that's by choice or is that a thing like you die i'm not really sure to be honest but he was alluding to something in the sense that like you can transfer and you can pass over uh, we don't know if that was a death or life kind of situation because to our understanding noel and nina they're they're alive you know they they especially well noel not noel sorry nina has a film fledged like she's a celebrity on front side of london so like she has a life you know, so it's not a thing with like Soul Society where the captains, all those guys, they're dead. Like they died ages ago. <laughs> like, they were dead. Um. So yeah, it really is intriguing. Um, to find out about that kind of stuff. Now, yeah, that's basically what happened in this chapter. Um, I'm intrigued. You know, the start was really interesting. I've I've, I've forgotten their names already, but you know the um 
I don't know. He, he's not the lead of Pipers. No, he isn't. But he's like this. I don't even know. See, it's really intriguing in regards to the divisions and the superiority and all that kind of stuff. Because we saw the Crown Council, you know, the leader of the Horns, all that kind of stuff. We saw that. And they were basically the leader of each division. But then we have people like him with the moustache, who is Noel and Nina's officer, like SL basic, superior officer. He's not a captain, but yeah, it's really intriguing. Um, we, I really want Kubo to delve into how that, like, the third seat, all that kind of stuff. In regards to Bleach, obviously, like, seats, lieutenants, captains, they have, like, umbrellas, and yeah, I really want to know more about that. But yeah, the interaction at the start of the chapter was pretty interesting, you know, between the, between the girls, SO, and the leader of the Sabres division. It seemed like the Sabres division leader had a bit of, uh... I'm not sure what the what it would what you would call it, but um, yeah, just a, a sort of kind of there was a bit of tension there. There was definitely some tension there. Maybe this was alluding to what why he got kicked out of Sabers. We know he did get kicked out of Sabers, uh, because obviously he wasn't doing enough enough work. But you know, maybe there's a relationship there that I, I'm intrigued to. There's something. <laughs> there's something there. I'm just wondering why she's so pissed at him. To be honest, um, but yeah, we now know that she's a she is a female. Uh, I feel like it, we didn't really know when she first got introduced. People were just thinking, okay, what gender is she and so forth. But anyway, um, that's basically it for this chapter. Balgo realized at the end that he's getting hunted down. He's just like, why me? Uh, you know, he's obviously, he's like, he's the comic character so far. So, you know, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, you know, the bounties on his head. Bruno's out there to basically take him out. Fighting against Noah and, and Nina is really cool to see. I'm intrigued to see what's happening in the next chapter. If so, it is the last chapter. So I'm really intrigued to see how Kubo's going to wrap this up. But yeah, guys, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about this chapter? How did you like Riken back up? That was pretty cool, right? Um, yeah, let's continue the discussion down below. And I'll see you next week for that greatness that is Ben the Witch. Peace out. Goodbye.